Welcome to my shop, I'm Andreas. If it's your first time here and you want to watch inspiring videos, if you want to learn along with me and get better at woodworking, and if you want to get out in the shop and make something, subscribe to my channel. The subscribe button is just here in the corner. It's free and you won't miss any future videos. I'd really appreciate your subscription. Now to the build. Before I explain the build, maybe some background of why I needed this. Teachers in Germany don't have their own classroom. We wander from class to class and then in the teacher's room we just have usually a space on the desk that we have to use to organize our stuff. The main work is usually done at home, so usually teachers have their study at home and at school you just have a, a small set of your stuff and that's where you work when you're at school. So this was um, needed for me because usually things tend to clutter up, you have to store all kinds of, uh, all kinds of things and I was, for a long time I have been uh, not content with how I organize this space and I just wanted to have something that makes organization easier and that makes everything just cleaner. So that's why I built this desk organizer. Now to the things that I learned. For the first time I have used a biscuit jointer as you saw in the video and it has been so much better than using the dowel jointer that I have used before and I'm overall very pleased with biscuit joints, it's the first time that I've used them and the main advantage that I see is that a biscuit joint can move sideways when you assemble everything. So for example if you have a joint here you can still move this panel a little sideways while you glue up and this has made all the difference compared to the two other builds that I did with uh, dowel joints because obviously a dowel just locks the, the board in place where you drill the dowel and I realize now that the dowel jointer that I used uh, was not as accurate as I had wanted it to be and this Makita biscuit jointer um, overall I think has much better build quality but there was one problem nevertheless um, maybe you saw that there were a lot of biscuit grooves in my boards and that's because I realized only a, a certain time into the build that my biscuit jointer seems to have a little error in the scale that adjusts one of the uh, fences. It seems to be off by about one and a half millimeters and first I um, cut some grooves and then I thought well I, maybe I'd made a mistake referencing from the wrong side but then I realized it's probably the scale on the, on the jointer. So I've sent it back to Makita and I've yet to get it back, so I'm not sure yet, but I think that was the problem. Once I knew about it, I could yeah, work against it and adjust the scale. So I had to uh, cut some of the joints a second time um, to make everything fit. But overall, I'm very pleased with that battery powered um, biscuit jointer. I'm sure to use it again in future projects. Second thing that I learned from the last build from my swiveling cabinet, the video is linked here in the corner, is this um, is the second time I've built drawers and it has, it has worked a lot better than the first time. These drawers have a lot less play and they work much better. As you saw, by accident I stumbled upon um, a good method of dialing in the exact width of that runner because I measured them and then when I built them in I realized they were a bit too high and then I realized that was actually a good thing because I could use the plane to plane them down uh, layer by layer and just dial them in to the correct width so that the drawer runs easily but doesn't have too much play. So that was actually a good method that I'm sure to use again in the future. However, I almost made a fatal mistake with the drawers. As you can see, I'm going to show you here, um, the grooves for the drawer bottom and the grooves for the runners are much too close together. I should have made the grooves for the runners higher up in the side of the drawer um, because this way they almost met, those two grooves almost met, which would have basically destroyed my drawers and I would have to build it again. Um, but Fortunately, there's just enough wood left so that the drawer is stable enough and these drawers obviously don't have to hold much weight so I don't worry about them breaking when I put stuff in it. Then, for the first time, I used these 
um, countersink drills that Wolfcraft sent me free of charge. Thank you to them. Um, they are not so common in Germany. You see them a lot in the videos of American woodworkers, but in Germany they are not so common. I use them for the first time. Um, they seem to be a good idea. I really enjoyed using them. Uh, there's just one thing that you have to keep in mind. Um, this stop ring here turns easily if you turn it like that and it's overall very well made. But in the small runners that I used here when I go in with the drill and the ring then gets in contact with the wood, it leaves a little mark. So you either have to hold this ring by hand so that it doesn't turn and then has to stop or you can use it only on a surface that is not so delicate so that a little dent left by the stop ring is not much of a problem. In my case it wasn't because the rudders are usually not visible but if you want to use these and they're fairly cheap they're good quality and so it seemed to be a good idea but you have to keep in mind that this stop ring might leave a dent. So overall I'm very pleased with this I'm very glad to have this on my desk at school I'm going to use it every day sit in front of it every day I really like the look of it um, I really like how the drawers turned out using the playing cards as, um, yeah, as shims to, to get the drawers right has worked excellently. I really enjoy this and I'm looking forward to using it every day. I hope you enjoyed the video too. If so, I'd appreciate if you give me a thumbs up, if you leave me a comment or if you share the video with your friends. And if it's your first time here, once again, you want to maybe subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate that. I hope to see you next time. Until then, remember to watch, learn and then make something.